welcome to this new episode of Continuum Gaming and today it's a little bit of a special episode but not something that we are going to do something special for it because um, yeah in the end today is a Windows 10 mobile uh, episode and the problem about that is there is not much special I can tell you about that but still we are going to have a three games uh, one which I'm going to show you in this episode and uh, why is it something yeah, a very extraordinary uh, episode or something, because today we have, I think, the 400th episode of this channel. So, happy birthday, I would say. Thank you for everybody who watched this far, and um, yeah, hopefully we will have a great time in the future uh, again, too. And yeah, then let's start with the first uh, game in this episode. The first game is going to be Block Puzzle Blast Jigsaw. And then we are going to have Mystery Diary Wimmel build. And uh, then we are going to play Galactic Rush. My name is Gerald. As always, I've got a couple of different things with me, which are, of course, a Bluetooth mouse like this one. I am going to use this foldable keyboard for all keyboard input stuff. And uh, it's Bluetooth enabled too, of course. Um, everything on the screen will be produced by the Lumia 950XL, which is running Windows 10 Mobile on it. And uh, it has a USB-C connector at the bottom there, and uh, the USB-C connector is connected to the display dock at the side, which is going to be showing everything to the TV. So the display dock is just an USB-C hub in the end, and it's connected by HDMI to this big screen. And as you can see, we have this desktop-like experience running here. Um, at least we can have that. So in this episode, I will switch between the mirror mode, which is something yeah pretty normal you can do, and uh, this mode where we are going to have this desktop-like experience. Um, in the end, it really doesn't matter much for games and stuff like that. So we are going to do it today in a mixed mode, more or less. And for that, the first game we are going to play is Windows 10 Mobile enabled with test and Continuum enabled and support on it. So we are going to play this first off. Um, if you want to know more about all this technology, what is going on there and then what is that, have a look at the corner up there. I have a couple of other videos where I'm going to talk about that more in depth. Other than that, let's start with the first game. Uh, as mentioned before, it's called Block Puzzle Last Jigsaw. For that, I'm going to turn around just to play it with you in a better fashion and be able to see everything too. So, um, yeah, as you can see, I'm using my mouse, of course, to navigate here and go, for instance, for this um, menu. And if I go in here, you can see a couple of games are not available at the moment. These, these not available ones where this little uh, text is shown under beneath it means that I don't have the right SD card inserted in my phone to play those because the SD card holds these games. Um, and these just mean that they are not playable on my uh, on Continuum in, uh, by itself because they are for uh, the mirror mode of the game. And because of that, first game we can play other games in this new or uh, edit, edit recently or whatever list are not available at the moment. So let's play the first one, Block Puzzle um, Blast Jigsaw. Yeah, and um, yeah, what is it? It's just more or less something like a combination of, of Tetris and puzzling or something, I'm not sure how to, to call it. And um, because it's called Blast, we are going to play a special mode of it. So as you can see, here's the game. Pretty simple in what it is. Um, I'm just using my my keyboard here, my, uh, my foldable keyboard, to decrease or increase uh, the volume there. And after that, I'm just going to use my mouse to go in and uh, do stuff here. First off, let's have a look at the settings. I always do that. We can select different languages here. So if we click on that, we can, for instance, switch to English. Now it's English and I can just close this so everybody can see everything here. And there are a couple of other options, like for instance, some kind of a dark mode or a white mode, whatever you want to play there, um, website, and of course, if you want to rate this game. But nothing of that is uh, something we are going to do. We are going to play this game. As you can see, there are a couple of different modes you can play in. Um, and since the game is called Blast Jigsaw, I'm pretty sure we are going to go with the Blast mode. So classic mode um, is just, yeah, putting together all the pieces of one of the Im uh, images or of one of the, um, 
Yeah, it's not really images, it's more like Tetris uh, parts you're going to uh, set up here. So in the end something like that. Time mode of course is something where you only have a certain amount of time to, to do stuff. Advanced is with very advanced um, yeah, parts more or less. It's not, it's not the classical ones you know from Tetris or something, but much more advanced ones. And challenge mode is just randomly stuff that is yeah, going to challenge you out. But we are going to play Blast Mode for now, because I find this one pretty interesting. Um, I already pl started playing and I can do that, but we are going to go with a reset one, so that you see everything here. So in the end what you are going to do is now you are going to place all the different images or parts here, you can see here, um, on the play part. And as you can see, it's not going to fall down like in Tetris or something, but it's all about the, the parts itself, which are looking more or less like something you would find in a Tetris match. But you can't turn them around or something. Very important too in this game. Um, yeah, and after a while, if I just go on and play this, we are going to experience other stuff like, for instance, this here. This means that you have eight more turns to Diffuse more or less a bomb you see there, and if you're not going to do that in eight more turns, then you are going to lose. Um, we can very easily do that. First, I try to just cover it up or something, so around it, so everything is more or less closed down. That's not what you should do here. All you have to do in this case is just do one of the lines, like in Tetris for instance, to get rid of the bomb. So it's very easy in this case because we already got the right parts here to do it and as you can see now it's going to be killed and we got the bomb out of the way. And yeah, this is more or less what you're going to do. Of course you can see we have some kind of an, um, yeah counter there which is going to tell you of course how many of those you got or better to say how many points you already got. And as you can see, we are going to just get rid of the parts here very easily. Doesn't have to be that easy. So for instance, like this, we can put it here and here. Um, in the end, just try it out if you like this kind of puzzle games and stuff like that. It's a nice one, but sometimes it's a little bit challenging, especially with this uh, blast mode to get everything done in a timely manner and of course, in a way that you can play on after it. So even if I can now kill everything, you still have to be aware that you have to put all the different uh, different parts on the image here. Otherwise, if we are not uh, not able to put, for instance, this here because you already have put everything else on. So I can't put it here, for instance, because of course there are not enough spaces left. And if, for instance, that would be a problem, then yeah, it could run pretty, pretty nasty more. So, um, let's see what we can do here. Yeah, so we got everything, but I think one of the coins went wrong or, or I just did it. I'm not sure at the moment. But in the end, this is more or less this kind of style. Just try it out if you like this. And of course, try all the other modes out because there are a couple of them. Okay, so let's have a look at the next game. And as mentioned before, we will have to switch around to the mirror mode to play this game. And the next game is going to Mystery Diary. And uh, Mystery Diary is just a search and find or find and search, whatever you want to call it, um, image game where you are going to select different stuff and you are going to get yeah, more or less involved in a little bit of a storyline. So let's have a look at that. And maybe you like it, we will see. Um, first of all, as mentioned before, since we are now in the, in the continue mode, we will have to switch around. For that, I will, that's the easiest way, you can do it in the interface itself too. But I'm just going to go to my smartphone, where you can already see we are in this touchpad mode. And if I'm now Clicking on the, uh, the three points button there, I can go to the display settings and I am going to switch over to mirror mode. And as you can see, now you are seeing everything that you can see on my smartphone too. And um, it's in the exactly same mode as the smartphone itself would be. Interesting about it, um, if for instance the, uh, the app itself uh, is usable in the landscape mode, you're not even 
that much uh, yeah, noticing that you are in this mode. So let's have a look. Um, Mystery Diary. For that I'm just going to go to my All Apps list. It's down below now. And I can just click on this to go into the game and have a look at that. So I turn around for that. As you can already see, there are now a little bit of a different interface available here. So the interface at the right side and at the bottom side, because we are of course in the landscape mode at the moment. And it takes a little bit to, to load this, but after a while, as you can see, you are ready to go. Um, most of the games still support the mouse then and mouse input, which is pretty nice and, and yeah, what we need here. And I'm just going to turn down the volume a little bit just so that the different effects and stuff like that are not going to hurt us. Um, you can have a look at the options here too. If you go in there, you just see we can only do some music stuff, so we're not going to uh, do anything and just hit play. Um, yeah, what's going on here, Lost Brother? Um, this game is more or less something where you will have to find your brother or help your brother to be found again. And for that, you can see it's all in this little yeah book style um, part, which is very interesting and a pretty nice one, if you ask me. Because as you can see, this is of course something where he is going to tell you about the storyline. So in the end, um, this is already the second part of the game, because the first I already played. And uh, in the end, your brother is missing, you have to find stuff in the, the image here to solve it, to play it, just click on this image. And as you can see, here we are. Uh, brother is asking the other one, so Gustav, um, are you here? Um, why didn't you, you call me or why didn't you, you tell me anything? So he's just asking for it. And as it seems, Gustav, so the, the brother of him, uh, is not available and there are a couple of different very interesting things because there is a cat in here which is his favorite pet or something and uh, yeah in general he would not leave the cat alone so let's see what we can do here to find out what is happening and of course this is already yeah more or less a tutorial mode so we are just being told that we have to have a look at the uh, yeah, the images here or the places on the image where these little stars are going on. So I click on that and as you can see, now you just have to search for the different images here or the different objects in the scene more or less. So as you can see, a very untidy one in this case, but first off what we need to find is of course the Slinky. At least I know it under the name Slinky, I'm not sure if you know it. But this is of course the first one and now just search for the different objects in the scene. Um, it's not very hard to find them, um, but in general one or two are a little bit more yeah, harder to find than others. As you can see, you just have this little bar down below with, the, in this case, uh, the outlines of the object you are searching for. For instance, here's the bunny, which can be seen there, and so on and so forth. So just try to find everything. Um, there are a couple of them in this bar here, so it's not only the bar itself, but they are going to switch over uh, if you find something. Here, for instance, is this butterfly. And um, yeah, after a while, they are going to switch over and you can find more. You can't find those which are not available at the moment in this uh, visible, part, visible part. So in the end, if you are clicking on something that can be found later on, but you can't see it at the moment, you're not going to get it. Um, I'm not sure if there's some kind of a penalty or something. At the moment, I, or, yeah, till now I didn't, didn't uh, occur to me that there would be one, but if you are clicking around very, very rightly, maybe you are getting some kind of a tax or a penalty for that. And yeah, in the end, just search for the different things. Sometimes they are very easy. Those, for instance, are pretty hard to find. Um, here is one, but yeah. <laughs> okay, what is this? So this might be this cheese part. I see it there. Yeah, probably that. Okay, so find it, find it there. But in the end, some are a little bit harder to find than others, of course. There is something, I think this could be this hard part there. Yeah. And now it's just something which is more or less a coin or something, probably. I don't see it at the moment where it should... Ah, here maybe. Something is there. Yeah, okay, so the coin. 
And now we are searching for something, what, maybe a bell or something, I'm not sure. Let's see what we can find here. This looks a little bit like it, but it's not really a bell. Okay, so it's all about that. As you can see, find just the shapes and now we got some, some hint more or less to find our browsers. And so you are going to go through a whole little storyline, which is going to tell you, hey, we need more, so just get, for instance, this part and this part, because of course you have to go through all the different uh, hints and parts here to get everything done. Very simple game. Um, it is the seek game part there. If you like this kind of games, just try it out. It's a fine little one if you want to try it. Okay, so to get out of this game, I will of course go here. Um, as mentioned before, sometimes I'm, I'm getting confused because uh, the interface is not in the continuum mode, but I see everything on the whole screen, but this is all about the landscape mode in this case. So that is not something very, yeah, you just have to cope with it more or less. So the last game in this episode is called Galactic Rush. And Galactic Rush is a little bit of a strange one, but on the other hand, not. So uh, let's have a look. It's a nice little storyline or at least an introduction. Let's tell it like that. I really like the game somehow. Um, it has a little bit of a style to itself. So first off, I'm just going to go here. There you can see it, Galactic Rush. One of the games you have to play in Mirror Mode 2. And as you can see, it's on yeah, Unity as, as many of them are. And yeah, what this, is this game about? It's really a fun little one. Um, in the end, there's some kind of a galactic meeting or something between different species and stuff like that. And uh, the aliens there are going to fight about who is the fastest um, species in the universe or something. And this is more or less what this is all about, because the meeting itself was about something very special and, and very important, but nobody remembers because everybody wanted to be the fastest one. It's, it's a funny little game. And just for the heck of it, let's go in here and see what the, vibra what the settings are. Um, vibration should be turned off, or I at least would like to do that. And um, if you are playing it with a mouse, it's always a pretty good idea to, to go with the sensitivity of the swipe a little bit down. It doesn't really matter, it's really nicely to be played here, or can be played in a very nice way. But still, just do it, it's just easier then. And now I'm just going to click on this button. As you can see, there are a couple of different yeah, groups of, of parts that you can do. And in the end, this is the first game we are going to play. It's called Lounge. I already played one of the ones, so let's see what's happening. Okay, we are, we are just about to go in and play. And all you will have to do now is more or less a side scroller. So all you have to do is really uh, swipe in different directions. For instance, don't run against those uh, rocks there. And of course, everything else can be collected. Or many things can be collected. You, you will see it. And there are a couple of different options to do stuff. For instance, this. You can uh, swipe to navigate around. For instance, like this to go further. There, I just didn't see what's happening. So I'm just going to jump over it. And all you have to do is more or less, you have to run for 1500 meters. So 1500 meters, I'm not running against something like I did. Um, to really get to the end of the, the, the game, or at least around 1,500 uh, uh, sorry, 1,500 meters to get to the end of that. And in the end, this is all you do. You are just a, uh, this little guy who is a human race, rep representing the human race. Pretty big belly for that, but whatever. And uh, he should be the fastest one in the universe, more or less, to run this, and so you should do it too. Um, just try it out, it's a really nice game. Um, it has this fun little backstory, I really like that. And as you can see, there are always a couple of different uh, very interesting 
um, yeah, statements and fun, fun little facts and stuff like that, where they are going to tell you stuff. This is something I'm not at the moment sure what this is all about. It's a DNA jet. Maybe it's giving you something special, but uh, I'm not really sure what this is all about. Wow. Well, okay. Sorry. Jumped into uh, the wrong. Uh, the wrong moment, so I just got into one of the holes there. Um, as mentioned before, you can do different stuff. For instance, you can uh, can jump up, of course, which we already did a lot, a lot of times. If you are in the air at the moment, you can even go and uh, use your jetpack or something to go in a straight line in the direction you are striping. Um, other than that, you can, for instance, duck down, so go low, be low, uh, stuff, and so on and so forth. So a couple of different things are very helpful in some situations. And yeah, all you have to do is just get rid of as many uh, of the dis uh, meters, distance, whatever that is, um, as you can. Um, get a couple of other things. Here's the best score I already did there. And you are just going to go in there. And of course, to level up and stuff like that, there are going to be these DNA parts. So in the end, uh, you are going to be gene manipulated to get faster and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, a really nice little part. Just try it out. This game is much fun and much faster than the other games I showed you in the, this episode. So if you like action, then this is probably a nicer one for you. Okay, then I would say thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I hope you had fun with this episode. Um, other than that, if you didn't subscribe to now, now is the right time to do that. Um, if you have any kind of questions, I don't know, want to say something, put it down below in the commentary section. And other than that, thank you for watching, see you around and bye. Bye!